G'day, and welcome to Leviathan Hive. Leviathan Hive. The Hive of the Leviathan. Okay, whatever. We have the Commissar, eh? Hey, hey, I'm learning, eh? Hey? The Commissar Lord is coming, and he's piloted by Stoned Elf Boy, who I'm just going to call Elf Boy. And I don't know, if you guys don't know who he's playing, I'll just give you a little bit of a heads up. This guy is Umpire, and he has been around since D.O. W days back in the fucking original times, man, and he's been uh, missing for hours. Like, this is literally the first. I don't think I've seen a, a trailer from uh, a replay from him for I don't know a long freaking time, and he is a extremely good player and one of the tops. And I just haven't seen him in so long that I just had to cast this replay straight away even though I'm trying to only cast two a week. And we'll be interested to see exactly how this goes. He is playing the Warlock. And he is fighting against... Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't control my fucking mouse. And he is playing against the Stoned Man. And we'll see exactly how good his reflexes are. Okay, so let's have a quick look at see what he's doing with... I think the control of the Sentinel is a really, really good way to get, get an accurate description of what's going on with your, you know, UG player and IG, not UG. I mean, what the fuck is UG? Anyway, the point is, a lot of people, it's so tempting to just run him in, run him as close as possible. We, see, we're already going for the shuriken coming. Double guardians into the shuriken. You can get the shuriken out very, very fast if you avoid buying the banshee squad. But it's so tempting because of the stomp ability to just charge the sentinel in aggressively and run in, do stomps. And the thing is, it's actually quite a fragile unit. And the, the unit itself is beyond valuable for decapping in the mid game when you're trying to control people's tier grades and it, it's the best unit in the game for that because I mean except for maybe like a warp spider squad or something like that but I mean who wants to use a warp spider squad for capping because you know it can run around it can do all the decaps and it has the stomp ability to get the hell out of dodge absolutely brilliant unit and if you can keep it survive if, if it can survive the length of the game then you can get some really really awesome stuff happening and new players especially play super aggressive with the sentinel and it's really i really think it's a mark of the player's skill on how they control that one unit Okay, so Umpire is coming in with the Shuriken Cannon, as you see, and you can see he's already building up ridiculous amounts of wreck, and the Shuriken Cannon is doing such a good... Oh, fucking hell, I cannot hear a goddamn word. Let me just turn my volume down a bit. Yeah, you, the Shuriken Cannon is doing a really, really good job of controlling the... He should cancel this squad because he's about to lose his entire gen farm. Shuriken Gen is doing a good job of controlling, but as you can see, he's already switched one of these guys up into Flamers, and the other one is not. So, we, do we have any battle gear? We've got only one of these Guardian squads with battle gear, and we have triple Guardians. Now, Guardians do have an intense amount of DPS, and, of course, they do have the battle gear, and... I really think that they're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. This guy cannot take on the Commissar Lord when he's got the shield up. This guy is just fucking ridiculous, man, when he gets his, you know, I can't remember what it's called now. Stubbornness, I think it's called. Yeah, whatever. It's just fucking retarded. But, 
Yeah, the DPS of these Guardian squads is actually quite strong, and it's very easy to think, ah, oh, three Guardian squads, well, you know, I can totes, uh, it's going to have a hard time keeping them alive. But the simple fact is, you get that battle equipment and you drop down those shields, we'll see if he starts to use them here. Some people only get the battle gear for the grenade spiking, which of course is super effective against the old uh, IG forces. But they have high DPS, you get out those shields, you hide behind the shields, 100% cover protection, it's the best cover in the game, and it can make these squads seem extremely, extremely tough, you know? And if you've got a whole bunch of them grouped together, all behind shields, you can actually hold people at bay because you can drop grenades if people start to try and charge you. And you really are looking at getting jumping units like assault marines to deal with fucking guardians. You know, it's very, very cool. It's a very, very cool unit. And one of the units that really, really hit them some repairing going on here, that can really benefit from mass uh, copies, you know. Okay, so we do have Stoned Elf Boy going into level 2. He's, a, he's got like a ridiculous amount of wreck. So, where the hell is this battle going on? Here it is. Whoa, something fucking went down. He does have. Oh, the Emolliator. Yes. Very, very good choice against high model count, low hit point units. And here's a good example. Yes, back him the fuck out. Good work. Elf Boy knows what the hell he's doing. And there goes the Commissar Lord, and he's just like, I am a fucking beast. But look at that DPS from those Guardian Squads, and there you can see the power of the Guardian Squads. You know, the, the DPS is just off the chart. Look at it, just burning down those health bars. These guys have to retreat, These, they will not be able to do anything. He needs to get some teams in. What is he waiting for? Some catcher cans would make short work of this, but I think he's going to go straight for the lemon. But, oh my god, get the hell out of there. Look at that DPS. Fucking Guardian Squads, man. Woo! I love you! Ah, interesting. He has got the missile launcher upgrade. Very, very rare. I hardly ever see that. And as soon as that is revealed, off they go. And the power of this unit, as you can see, you can run in and instantly force up and start decapping. Extremely powerful unit here. And there comes the catcher cans. About time. Oh, catcher can. Catcher can. They don't want to tell me how to pronounce that motherfucker. I'm going to call it the Devils, because uh, their grenade unit will make short work of that gun squad. Where the hell was these guys? These guys were just set up in the background the whole time? I'm not quite sure where this unit was during that last engagement. And here comes the Chimera. Interesting choice. Boom, boom, boom! I love seeing an upgraded Sentinel. It's uh, quite rare, actually, because they are hard to keep alive in the late game. Especially when you're playing against uh, what is obviously going to be a AV build. I mean, if you're playing IG, the chances of you fighting AV is pretty strong. Though, Ogrens have got their own charm, I must say. Meanwhile, Umpire is showing us why he's a fucking beast. And that is, dude, this is like a three-year-old tactic. But who gives a fuck? I'm beastly at it. You know? <laughs> like, it would be interesting to see whether he builds any of the new units. Because, <laughs> oh yeah, I've got new units in Eldar, what? But, uh, yeah, so... Here comes the catcher cans. Now watch the difference in this engagement. Get off that. Boom, boom, boom. Extremely different. He does put down his global which allows him to sit through that. The fucking DPS is insane! Catchagans did not use their ability to drive them off the field, which is what I was expecting to see. I do not think that the Sentinel's rocket ability is really going to do the difference here. 
the Sentinel will not have the DPS to run in. Is he going to do the stomp? Does he still have stomp when he's got on it? Yeah, he does. There you go. Boom. And here comes the backup shuriken cannon, which is going to be a real problem. And this is going to drive everybody away. And oh my god, out comes a falcon. I love the falcon. Everyone knows I love the falcon. And if you don't, well, you do now. Falcon is awesome. Wow, these, these Guardian squads are just absolutely tearing the fuck out of stuff. And this really goes to show you the power of when you're, when you're the kind of player that can keep squads alive for long periods of time, it's just a completely different game. You know, units that you just don't think have the ability to do certain things just suddenly become beyond awesome. And it's all about how you control them. You know, it makes a huge difference. And umpire is, you know, well, he's umpire for fuck's sake. Seriously. Oh, this uh, Chimera is in trouble. He is not going to win this battle one on one. Can he back up into some defense? I do not think so. Looks like the Commissioner Lord is going to be here, but I don't think he is backed up with the Warlock. And straight back into the repairing units. If he can get a bit closer, do an Artak call on on the repair squad. That is usually a very, very good idea. And of course. Guardian squads do have the repair ability as well, so now everyone's sort of just healing up, healing up, and we're bringing in the reinforcements. Meanwhile, we have stormtroopers out, and these guys are motherfucking awesome. Anti armor kit coming out, I love this. is like my second favorite gun in the entire game. Wait till they start firing, it just looks all sorts of awesome. Whoa, Commissioner, look, a commissar, shit, almost fucked it up. Puts on stubbornness and look at that health regen. Holy gee. What the fuck? God, that is retarded. <laughs> Here comes the cooldown and the attack, but that's going to get the hell out of there quick smart. And man, both these players. Fucking awesome. Elf boy, you are being freaking awesome. But the thing is, can he actually push through here? I mean, he needs a little more power to get through this gap. The Chimera is not going to have it unless he sacrifices it. Look at the... We've got stubbornness on. This is the shit, man. Holy shit. <laughs> it's just... It's... 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 it's fucking stupid. I mean, that ability is just so powerful, it's unbelievable. It does have some drawbacks, being that you have to, the grenades are flying, boom, oh, beautiful grenade, that was surprising, I think that was more luck, he backed into it, landed on top of the repair crew, and that is what you're meant to do, take out repair crews, look at this, the Chimera is almost no damage. But the fact is, it doesn't really matter. Like, this is a defensive build here by Elf Boy, and he doesn't have the VPs captured. So, you know, it doesn't matter if it's nice and defensive. Ooh, and they're coming in for a stealth snipe. But this is not going to work, because the repair squad is up. Looks like he's going to position himself for a double prong attack. As soon as those guys walk away, there goes the grenade, and there goes zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh my god, look at that damage. You are fucked. Bye bye, Falcon. Oh yeah, get a retreat out of there. Absolutely excellent play. But it looks like Elf Boy did lose his catcher cans at some point when I was not watching. I was too busy looking at this really sweet stealth play. But, and there you go. And that one little, that little play has broken the line and Elf Boy is going to be able to move up. He's got no capping units. Here you go, here comes the Comm Commissar Lord. Get in there. And now he's going to set up his defensive play that we just saw him doing down here. 
with his repair crews behind him in the lines, driving up the Camera, doing damage and then pulling back to be repaired. And that should allow him to control this entire area. Maybe even, even this power farm. Which is going to real put a wrench in the work. And here comes some Ogrens and look at Elf Boys. Wow, Elf Boy has really got some awesome uh, wreck and the red is coming. We're going to start seeing the strafes coming out. Meanwhile, we're getting some sneaky back capping shenanigans. Uh, there goes the fire blade on them and they're going to be uh, just what? They're just going to sit through that? No, hit retreat, absolutely. And here comes the Ogrens to reinforce and that's it. I'm out of here, matey. Commissar Lord's going to see him and put in some thing. Hits the retreat button. Probably not the best plan. And he is going to lose his entire power farm. Umpire is in a real spot here. And the Bright Lance team comes out. Oh yeah, that's right. Umpire is an old school player. He builds Bright Lances in Endgame. Holy shit. This is going to shock the fuck out of Elf Boy. He's not even going to know what's going on here. But uh, will it be enough? My freaking phone is going, but I cannot be fuck getting up. It's got a uh, James Bond theme, that means my dad, he can just fuck off while I'm watching this game. And boom! Sacrifices those units. That seemed like an intentional. He could have been because he was focusing so strong on this battle over here, which I probably should have been focusing on. And look at that Commissar Lord. That's what he is. I mean, that's what the Commissar Lord is. He's like, never damaged. He's fucking full power all the time. It's it's the most frustrating of all the heroes to fight. Like, I just cannot stress how much I hate the Commissar Lord. Look, and look at the regen of his freaking energy. He's already gone from zero to like, you know, about a third. I mean, seriously, it is so frustrating, the Commissar Lord. And here you can see that defensive play in the background. He's got his flamer team. Because hop in, do repairs, can jump out and burn stuff. Elf Boy has an extremely strong build here. And he is getting the one up on Umpire, who has lost one of his Guardian squads. And that light bright lance is gonna have to get the hell out of there. He might Oh, nice heal there from the Artar. But it's gonna have to get the hell out of there. Look at that DPS. Where's the grenade? Grenade! Grenade, motherfucker! Grenade! What are you doing? Holy shit, um... Uh, that was a perfect opportunity to get some real heavy damage on those. Is he going to go for... Which one's he going for? Going, going to go for the Kamar. Uh, those Ogrens could have gone down. He had two Guardian squads there. Commissar Lord does not have stubbornness. He has got no squads around him. This is their chance to put in the hurt. He has no energy to hold that shield up. And he's going to go down. Yeah. Fuck you. Die, you motherfucking cunt. And the Bright Lance is... Look at the range. And here comes the grenade. Oh, no, it's the mine system. And look at those range. It's just in his... Back it up. Yeah, he backs it up just a tiny little bit. And he should be able to just put the repair on straight away. He will not lose that Kamara, and if this guy moves forward even one step, he's just going to get totally fucked up. Look at that. Just if you are playing uh, Commissar Lord, this is such a great place to mine. I've seen it done many, many times. There is literally no way that anyone can get through there without setting off the mines. Boom! <laughs> As point in case. And again, doing that stealth play to try and take out... He's going to put the grenade... Oh, no! Revealed! Oh, unlucky! But it is going to be enough to take out that... That Falcon. Oh, my God. Elf Lord, you... Oh, beautiful use of the burning ability on the retreating path there. And that was just incredibly unlucky play there. That, I mean... He probably just didn't even think that would happen. Like, he got the explosion went off, knocked them all down, and did the reveal. But uh, look at the 
Look at the blue. Umpire is completely getting his ass kicked. Boom. He needs to do some capping. He's not going to be able to do the reinforcing. Yes, and he's out. He's splitting up his units to do that capping now. But of course... Yeah, has he got an answer? Oh! Here comes the warp spiders. About bloody time. Here comes two grenades, completely into the middle of nowhere. And he might lose him this time. No! Wow, this is absolutely... Oh, there you go. He put, did put the repair on, but just a little too late. And finally that Chimera goes down and bang. Elf boy. That's how you use fucking Sentinels. This game is how you use Sentinels. Absolutely fantastic Sentinel play by Elf Boy. And here comes the Lemon Russ. Lemon Russ. And you think the Kamara repair strategy is bad? Wait till the Lemon Russ is out, man. That's just fucking goddamn IG. You might need a second Bright Lance if he's going to deal with that. Boom. This warlock has to get the hell out of here. Ogrens are not what you want to be facing in melee. Oh! I missed it! Warp spiders, they want, must have come in and dropped in that like uh, slow down grenade. I'm sorry I missed that, but finally gets that chimera and just in time. And look at Elf Boy! He's just lost every single fucking unit he owns. What the fuck happened? What happened, Elf Boy? You were just in such good situation and now you are fucked. Unbelievable. I wish I was able to figure out what, what happened. I was, I was paying attention. How did I miss this? Here come, look at the DPS from those Guardian squads. Leveled up Guardians, level 3. Remember, level 4 is the cap. Oh, and here comes the expo. That's what I was expecting to see a little oh, sooner. Boom! And that's gonna. Does that take him out? One left. Lucky. Lucky. And he is gonna lose his Warlock here. Oh! My god, retreating at the very last second. Ah, oh, Warp Spiders are coming in. Good game sense, but. I think I probably would have tried for that kill. He does have the champion's robe on now. And here comes another Bright Lance team to try and deal with that Lemon Rust. Can this Lemon Rust make the difference? He's only got one repair team now. You really need two Guardsman squads to get this repairing situation happening on the Lemon Rust like he had on the Chimera. So I think we'll probably see a second Guardsman squad coming out now. And this is a pretty intense, good, good game. It's got a few misplays here and there on both players, but you know that's to be expected. Umpire has been away for God knows how long, and Elf Boy, I don't know who the fuck Elf Boy is, but I'm gonna freaking go and look for some more of his replays because he is awesome. <laughs> look at that Camara, the Lemon Rust Big Brother has the Executioner Tank upgrade, which is uh, a kind of all-purpose damage increase and on top of that it looks awesome and it is going to take out that falcon and where are his uh, down here doing jack shit and perfect example of why you need two repair squads he mo oh my god come on you, you can't outrun an attack dude Nice. He has not upgraded the stormtroopers yet, but then again, there's no real reason because that uh, uh, falcon has been taken down. Oh, straight over the fire! I don't know how much effect that has on fire. Here comes the ogre to try and reinforce. We do have like bright lands taking pot shots at him. Oh. Down goes the Warlock, bye bye, and the Artek does escape. 
Meanwhile, umpire showing why he's a bit of a legend. He adds, during all that, he has split up his forces and is doing capping. But these ogrens are going to have none of that. They're like, oh, you motherfucker. And they're about to come in and kick them off. And they're probably going to stop the chase and go straight for the cap. He did have an explosive charge there, which he did not set off. Grenade spike on the ogrens, but you know, they pretty much took that damage right in the face and didn't even care about it. And we're just seeing unit after unit fall. But the big difference is level 4 ogrens. Holy, I was about to say, big difference is we have... Oh, well, we don't really, though. Everybody's lost all their units. There are no really high-level units left, except level 4 Ogrens are the highest, and a level 3 Guardian squad. And now, it's basically... The game is like... Sort of like the start. Everyone's kind of almost even. It's almost like it's a brand new game. Except they've got access to Tier 3. And it's all about the capping now. How they can control their capping. We're down to 96, 34. What the hell's going to happen? We should be using that stubbornness a little more aggressively because that Commissar Lord, he's practically indestructible when he's got units around him. Should be getting into those fucking warp spiders and making them port. He is going to be in a lot of trouble now. Hit that retreat button, which he does. And these guardsmen are like in the middle of nowhere. They're going to be torn apart by these warp spiders. Don't have to worry too much about the bright lance, but the warp spiders are going to fuck them up. And you're going to get the grenade on them and then teleport? No, they teleport right into the Gravelman squad. Oh, our effect blast comes in. He does lose the Bright Lance squad to the Ogrens. And out comes a Wraith Lord. Umpire's just like, yeah, man, I'm going to build every fucking unit in the entire Eldar army because I haven't played for a while. <laughs> All we need now is some freaking... Uh... Anyway, so... This is, this is quite an intense match here. We're right down to the wire. It's all about what they do in these last seconds. It is about the capping right now, and unfortunately Elf Boy is not doing the capping control. He's still going for major engagements, and the reinforcement, the time it takes to retreat and then charge back up is really going to cost him here. There is a three cap on right now. Tanks are fucking useless for capping. What the hell is he going to do? There's a battle going down here. All he needs to do is delay for a while, and he gets he's getting that cap off. But will it be too late? There's only 12 left. This is practic This is completely undefended. He is sending up some guys, but the Wraith Lord is heading over there to make sure that cap does not go down. And boom, freaking game over! Wow, that was a really awesome game, and great to see Umpire is back. <laughs>